just a sport of kings Better than diamond rings That's why we're here to sing Football Hey there, this is Joel from Sir Storia. Now, if you're familiar with Ohio, you're familiar with the fact that we are a factory of football. Everything from the footballs that are made here to the Hall of Fame to some of these guys. And of course, let's not forget Polk High's own 3-3, Al Bundy. But today, we're here paying tribute to something else. Yeah, you guessed it. We're here to talk about that little yellow devil, the penalty flag, the pure definition of a love-hate relationship. Now, as they say, necessity is the mother of invention. And back in 1941, Dwight Beatty had his necessity. He was destined to make his mark on history. Dwight Vincent Dyke Beatty was born in Youngstown, Ohio on January 23rd, 1903. As a player and coach, football was in his blood, but so was invention. After attending the Carnegie Institute of Technology, now known as the prestigious Carnegie Mellon University, he began his career as a coach, first at Westminster, then Geneva, and it finally at Youngstown State University. It was there that he would leave his mark on history, not for the famous names that passed through the program like Ron Jahorski, but something everlasting in the game. Before the introduction of the penalty flag, officials used horns and whistles to signal a penalty. This made it difficult for fans to know what was happening in the game. Beattie said, quote, I always disliked the fish horn signal. I figured it was a nuisance and irritating to the ears. With the help of Dyke's wife, Irma, now known as the Betsy Ross of football, the penalty flag was brought to life. She used her daughter's old Halloween costume, a white sheet, and some fishing sinkers from Dyke's Tackle Box to help weigh it down. It was time for the era of the penalty flag to begin. On October 17, 1941, YSU played Oklahoma City University. After getting sign-on from the other team's coach, he approached Jack McVee and the other officials. Dyke said, quote, Do me a favor, boys. Instead of using the horns, try dropping these flags on violations. The fans never hear the horns, and besides, it's just an experiment. At this game, the penalty flag was first used on the field at Ray Stadium. After that game, it began its journey throughout college football where it eventually was used at the Rose Bowl in front of 100,000 fans. No longer an experiment, the penalty flag was here to stay. So yes, right here, the first penalty flag was created and used, and it looked like this. Now the next time that little yellow devil makes an appearance on the wrong side of the field, just remember that without it, our beloved game would erupt into absolute chaos. It's as American as apple pie. Thanks for checking out Sir Storia. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like it, leave a comment, bake us a pie, edit our videos, visit our website, check out our socials, teach us to read, and hit that subscribe button. We do appreciate it.